All right, uh, you are welcome to Narrowtech. Um, we give you uh, tips in GIS, all angle from QGIS, ArcGIS, um, all technology that you can use to improve in your academic work, in your studies, in your research. Okay, so today uh, the problem here is sometimes uh, most of us find it difficult to um, get shape files from online um, service. So if you are doing a project, you are doing a research work, and you need a shape file, but you said online you are not getting that shape file. I am going to show you a simple way of getting the shape file by your own effort, by your own self. All right, so do not um, skip this video, continue to watch to the end. All right, so uh, when you open your QGIS, right, um, let me uh, remove this uh, layers. When you open your QGIS, uh, uh, interface you could see this interface you look up up you look around here you could see all this interface okay so you come to the web card you click on the web then you go to um quick map services then you come to bin this is what the satellite imagery i'm going to use to create the shape file it's going to help me to see um the the the, the path or the footprint of um my area of interest so i just click on satellite uh, image so let's say this is uh, where i am doing my project or where my research area is um, so and be be mindful that sometimes when you bring in the um the uh, shape file or when you just load the image the satellite imagery it will take a longer time to load due to poor network so please <laughs> just be patient let it load zoom in to see the entire image um, area of, of, of your study area, okay, or your research uh, area. So, without wasting much time, let's say this is my fault, all right? Let's say this um, image size I am seeing here is my fault, and I want to create this, only this fault, okay? I, I am only interested in only this fault. So, what I will do is, you come here, this is the... Uh, uh, create new shape file icon so you come here you have different ways of doing it you can come here too is there you, you have a, a, like different ways of creating the shape file but i am just uh, creating from here so new shape file okay so now find it what is the name of your shape file you are creating you you just uh, say let's say but there you have to locate a folder you want to keep it in so let's say uh, I already did it here. Let's say you have a folder called tutorial, okay? Tutorial, and you want to say, let's say, name it fold. Let me say study area, area of interest. Uh, my research, okay, it's okay. Area of interest, is okay. Then it will have an extension of shp, which is a shape file. So you just say, mm, okay. So you know in GIS we have um uh many types of uh, geometry so in this your case you are creating a polygon like an area okay an area so you just have to select the polygon this is the geometry type select the polygon leave this um as it is leave them um, uh, in the default as it is so you also have to choose the coordinate reference system of where you are working Sometimes, based on where you are working, it's very necessary and advisable to choose um, a geographic coordinate system. But here, I am going to choose the EPSG 4326, which is the global, okay, uh, UGS 84. So, I have chosen that. But if you want to change based on where you are working, just come here. Um, then you look for what you want, okay. Um, but here I am using this one, which is a global scale. So I just choose it. Then maybe the third name. Mm, what name do you want to give to your third? Let me say um, uh, trees. You can say trees. Like it doesn't matter. Okay, you can based on what you want. And it's test. You just do it. Then okay, okay. So now we have you have created uh, the layer, but nothing is inside. Okay, you have to edit it you have to create it from here okay so what can you do you come to a uh, toggle edit okay toggle edits like this pencil or you can right click take notes make sure that your 
your layer is active the one you want to edit is active so you can right click on it there you go to toggle editing now it has activated all the editing features okay all the editing icons all the editing tools you will need to edit your shape file so now we are going to use um you know look, take take note of this this add polygon and this is what you want to do we are going to create polygon you can explore all these things based on what you are doing but we are going to create polygon so you select this add polygon um then you come to your area you want to create okay so you click 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 then when you are done mm -hmm. then you right click okay so you can give it id one then you click okay so now you have your shape file created but it's not saved <laughs> take note it's not saved if you mistakenly quit qgis after doing this and you do not save it your work is um in vain if you've just worked without uh, getting any benefit so look at this save button you just click on it now it's saved okay it's saved then you just remove this pencil editing from the shape file just remove it and you now have your shape file now you can uncheck this you have a shape file and you can use this to do your entire project you want to do so this is why and how we can create a simple shape file for our area of interest where you do not get it online so guys, thank you very much for watching. I know it's going to help you in your research, in your work, and everything you do. Do not forget to subscribe. Let's build this platform. And I will be motivated to bring you enough of this. Thank you. Um, see you in the next uh, video. All right. Thanks.